dear students assalam alaikum there are about 12 topics in calculus 1 and today we shall do the first topic the first topic is domain of functions now when you open your calculator and try certain calculations you will get math error the first example is 1 divided by 0 you get a math error in mathematics division by 0 is not allowed 1 by 0 0 by 0 these things are not allowed then you get math error in some other situations another situation is you put square root of 4 you'll get answer is 2 you put square root of minus 4 square root of minus 4 You'll get math error. This is second type of math error. Some math errors can be solved not by the calculator but otherwise. So today we'll be avoiding two kind of math errors. The first one is one by zero. The second one is square root of negative numbers. Square root of zero is zero. Square root of negative numbers is not defined for us in real numbers otherwise it is defined but today we shall avoid square root of negative numbers now there are two formula which will be needing again and again in this semester x square minus a square equal to x minus a into x plus a where a is any number negative or positive now the second is the first one was a two term factorization the next is three term factorization x square plus a plus b x plus a b which is equal to x plus a into x plus b so these two formula will be needing in this chapter in this topic and many other topics in this semester so just do it. now find the domain of f of x equal to 3 now there is no 1 by 0 problem there is no square root problem so the domain is all real numbers if you say in english or you write this r neatly or you write this in the this form minus infinity to plus infinity this function can take any values but the net result is 3 it is a constant function it is a straight line like this we will discuss the graphs in another chapter next problem find the domain of the function f of x equal to x square plus 1 divided by x minus 3 now there is no square root the only problem comes when you put x equal to 3 you will get something divided by 0 and division by 0 is not allowed so what you will say all real numbers except 3 you can say all real numbers except 3 or you can say r but not 3 this but not is written as minus r minus 3 this minus means the number in the flower brackets 3 is not allowed otherwise you can write it as an interval minus 3 to infinity union union means and 3 to infinity this round bracket means the 3 is not allowed so whenever the number is not allowed in the interval we write it as round bracket square bracket means the number is allowed and plus infinity and minus infinity are not fixed numbers so we always put round bracket for minus infinity and plus infinity please learn to do it in all the three ways you can say all real numbers except 3 other than 3 equivalently we can write r but not 3 this 3 has to be put in flower brackets now the next question is similar find the domain of the function f of x equal to x plus 7 divided by 2x minus 3 now you have 1 by 0 is not allowed so when check when 2x minus 3 is 0 2x minus 3 equal to 0 means x equal to 3 by 2 so 
to all real numbers except 3 by 2. No need to write 1.5. Equivalently, we can write r minus 3 divided by 2. When the set is 3 by 2, 3 by 2 is not allowed, so you put the minus. Minus means not allowed. So it is minus infinity to 3 by 2, round bracket, union 3 by 2 to infinity. All numbers between minus infinity to 3 by 2, union 3 by 2 to infinity. Now let's look at another example. Find the domain of the function f of x equal to x square plus 16 divided by x square minus 16. Now you have to solve this equation x square minus 16 equal to 0, x minus 4 into x plus 4 equal to 0. That means when you multiply two things and get 0, that means the first is 0 and on another occasion the second is 0. So x minus 4 equal to 0 means x equal to 4, x plus 4 equal to 0 means x equal to minus 4. So all real numbers except minus 4 and 4. That's what you'll say in English, or you'll say r minus minus 4 comma 4. So in the flower brackets, you have to write minus 4 and 4, two numbers. The order is not important, but we have to write the small number first and the big number second. Minus 4 is smaller than 4, so write minus 4 first and 4 second. So r minus, in the flower bracket, you have two numbers, minus 4 comma 4. Please, if you have 10 numbers, just use commas. Do not use anything else. Now, the first interval is, sub-interval is minus infinity to minus 4, union minus 4 to 4, union 4 to infinity. So, all numbers are allowed. Minus infinity to minus 4, minus 4 is not allowed. Put a round bracket union. Now, again, between minus 4 and plus 4, all the numbers are allowed. You can put 0. You can put... 3, 1, 2, 1 1.5, 2.5, it goes on. Union 4 to infinity, again one round bracket for the 4. Now the next question is almost the same. x square plus x minus 3 divided by x square minus 9. There is no square root. 1 by 0 is not allowed. x square minus 9 equal to 0. That means x minus 3 into x plus 3. Use the factorization. The first formula of factorization will get in the first case equal to 0, x minus 3 equal to 0, so x equal to 3. Second time x plus 3 equal to 0, that means x equal to minus 3. See when you solve an equation, the answers come in different order. So all real numbers except minus 3 and plus 3 because there is no need to write plus 3 here, but we know it is plus 3. R but not allowed are two numbers minus 3 and 3. So your answer in, if you write intervals minus infinity to minus 3, union minus 3 to 3, union 3 to infinity. Now problem number 6. Find the domain of the function f of x equal to 3x divided by x minus 1 into 5x plus 10. Now 1 by 0 is not allowed. So, you will get x minus 1 into 5x plus 10 equal to 0. Now, x minus 1 equal to 0, which means x equal to 1. 5x plus 10 equal to 0, which means x equal to minus 2. 5x equal to minus 10, x equal to 10 divided by minus 10 divided by 5, which is equal to minus 2. So, which two numbers are not allowed? 1 and minus 2, which is small, minus 2 is small, 1 is big. So write minus 2 comma 1. All numbers except minus 2 and 1, we can write r minus minus 2, 1. Or we can write minus infinity to minus 2, union minus 2, 1 comma 1, union 1 to infinity. See, minus 2 is not allowed, so we put a round bracket. 1 is not allowed, so we put a round bracket. Find the domain of the function 2x plus 1 divided by x square minus x minus 12. Now we have to solve this equation x square minus x minus 12 equal to 0. The easiest method is to factorize. We will get x minus 4 into x plus 3 equal to 0. 
and x minus 4 equal to 0 means x equal to 4, x plus 3 equal to 0 means x equal to minus 3. So all numbers are allowed except 4 and minus 3. In what order will you write? Which is big? 4 is big, minus 3 is small. So we'll write minus 3 comma 4. So all real numbers, this word real is important except minus 3 and 4 equivalently r minus flower brackets minus 3 comma 4 then you can write it in the interval form minus infinity 2 minus 3 union minus 3 to 4 union 4 to infinity now we put round brackets because minus 3 is not allowed and 4 is not allowed now uh, this was the rule where we were avoiding 1 by 0. Now next we will do some examples with the square root. Find the domain of the function f of x equal to 5x minus 15. Now this quantity inside should be positive. 5x minus 15 should be positive. 5x minus 15 should be greater or equal to 0. 0 is allowed. That means Take the 15 this side, divide by 5, x is greater or equal to 3. 3 is allowed because greater or equal to 3. So you put square bracket 3, comma infinity. Any number less than 3 is not allowed. For example, if you put 2, you get 5 into 2, 10. 10 minus 15 is minus 5. Square root of negative number is not allowed. So the numbers allowed are square bracket 3 comma infinity closed interval square bracket means closed interval 3 is allowed and infinity infinity is not a fixed number so we put a round bracket there now let's look at this question find the domain of the function f of x equal to 5 divided by 3x minus 24 now 3x minus 24 has to be greater than 0 the root of negative number is not allowed 1 by 0 is also not allowed so you put x is greater than 8 so the interval is open interval 8 to infinity don't put close bracket here by mistake that means 8 is allowed 8 is not allowed because 3 into 8 is 24 24 minus 24 is 0 can you have 5 divided by 0 no square root of 0 is 0 5 by 0 is not defined so 8 is not allowed now the last two three questions find the domain of the function f of x equal to x minus 1 divided by x minus 3 this is square root in the numerator square root of x minus 1 divided by x minus 3 now the denominator cannot be 0 so x is not equal to 3 now x minus 1 has to be greater than 0 so x is greater than 1 so x has to be greater than 1 and x is not equal to 3 so you put all numbers from 1 to infinity except 3 so you have square bracket 1 comma 3 union 3 comma infinity since 3 is not allowed you put 3 in the round bracket other numbers allowed for example 2 2 minus 1 is 1, square root of 1 is well defined, you can do it in your calculator, it is 1, 1 divided by 2 minus 3 is minus 1, 1 divided by minus 1 is allowed, it is minus 1. Now the last question, find the domain of the function f of x equal to x square minus 10 divided by x square minus 100. Now x square minus 100 has to be greater than 0 which is which has the solutions x has to be less than minus 10 or x has to be greater than 10 equal is not allowed so the intervals are minus infinity to minus 10 and union infinity 10 to infinity so you can put 11 11 square is 121 121 minus 100 is 121 which is a positive number you can put minus 20, minus 11, minus 11 whole square is plus 121. So you have minus infinity to minus 10, union 10 to infinity. So this is a very small topic, but this topic is very important. It will come in different chapters. 
in the beginning chapters and in the last chapter. Again, it will come when you'll be drawing the graphs and we'll, you'll be looking at the other things about the functions. So this topic will come again and again. It is an easy topic. Go through it. If you have any questions, ask me in the class. Thank you very much. Inshallah, we'll meet in the class.